if you're not helping after school programs, you're really helping to take them away. After school programs, wouldn't you rather be helping? Good job. Look, it's a giraffe! I don't see it. The less art kids get, the more it shows. Are yours getting enough? Art. Ask for more. Americansforthearts.org Lewis and Clark, great explorers. Hi, I'm Thomas Jefferson. Would you check out the West for me? Oh, sure. And they take their killboat up the Missouri. Oh, Buffalo. Then they built Fort Mandan. They're in 1804. Made some friends along the way. I'm Sucker to Wheel. Through the Columbia Gorge. Ah! There are tons of ways to help with your kids' learning. Find the really good ones on connectforkids.org. A sweet Pacific Ocean! Yeah! You don't need to be bigger than life to be a good dad. You just need to spend time with your kids. It takes a man to be a dad. Hello and welcome to uh, Calumet Region Reports. Uh, today we have with us uh, Sheriff uh, Roy Dominguez with the Lake County Sheriff's Department. And Jeremy. Hi. April Gozer, I'm the community leader. And Matt Laberski. Thank you for being with us. Can you explain to us a little bit about what the Adopt-A-Pet program is? Well, the Adopt-A-Pet program, uh, I want to say about last uh, October of 2003, uh, our department, the sheriff's department, assumed jurisdiction responsibility over what used to be a control center, uh, and basically, for the most part, was a uh, a center that for the uh, either euthanize the pets that were brought here. A very little bit of adoption was going on, and prior to that, I, the commissioners and the county council, had asked if I'd assume jurisdiction over this uh, area. Previous, about 20 years ago, the animal control center was under the jurisdiction of the sheriff's department. And I said that I would, provided that they'd let me, allow me to, to change it to an adoption center. I really believe that our society is more in tune with an adoption center than we are with a, a dog pound, if you will, or a cat pound. Okay. And so now an uh, adopt a pet is that uh, members of our community can come here to the center and adopt a dog, a cat, puppies, from all ages and also many different animals. We've had birds, we've had uh, an iguana, we've had rats and many, many others, and as, as a result of taking it over in October of 2003, we've now, I've now hired as Matt Labarski, who's the, uh, the director here, and April Goodra, who's our community director. Okay. Uh, could you tell us what counties or areas does this program basically cover? It, well, for anybody who we, we believe would be a, a family that would, would want to adopt a pet and would be a good family, we do some routine checks and background checks mm -hmm. to ensure that they are what we would believe someone who would take care of pets. It, it's really a responsibility to care to take care of a pet. And take care of a pet as if it's one of their own family members, with a dog, a cat, or any other pet. And so we do some background checks, and it's open to anybody who comes into our center uh, and is willing to take care of a pet, whether they're from Lake County, Porter County, Illinois, Wisconsin, any other state. It's open to anybody that would like to adopt one of our pets. We're now on the internet. And many, many folks will uh, look us up on the internet because they want a specific dog or specific color or cat, and they find it. And uh, we're on petfind.com, and uh, they'll look us up and see if they have a pet there, and they'll come on over. And so it's open to anybody who would like to adopt a pet. So it's not just limited to Lake County? No, it's not. No, it's not. Our goal is to adopt pets and to save the animals. You know, the animals can't speak for themselves. We speak for them and we want to place them in good homes with good family, make families happy that they have a pet, and children and moms and dads, and aunts, uncles, grandma, whomever it may be, and we try to match the pet with the family, and, uh, and so it's open to anybody who would like to have a pet. Sure. Uh, is the animal shelter a no-kill shelter? It is a no-kill shelter of adoptable pets, and what that means is that 
even the humane uh, societies don't have a no-kill. We have a no-kill of adoptable pets. So what that means is that we keep the pets for as long as we possibly can, uh, uh, providing that they don't get some illness or whatever the case may be, and we try to actively find families for them. With an, uh, a no-kill facility, that means people like April and Matt and everybody else will work very hard, and they will, to find families for the pets and match them up behind adopted families and things of that nature. Uh, but for those pets that are either injured or infirm or have some type of illness that we feel that should not go back into the community, then in many, many instances we do have some euthanasians on, on those types of uh, pets. Also, sometimes pets don't have the temperament. Some pets are very, can have a temperament that are not good either with children and or should not be released back into the community. What we could not do is release a pet that we believe doesn't have the right temperament back into the community and injure or hurt somebody. Uh, and so those pets who that are injured or that are injured or have an illness mm -hmm. or don't have the right temperament are euthanized. Okay. Um, where does the shelter obtain the pets that are here? And uh, are there any fees? Of course, we covered that a little bit about the fees on the uh, adoptions. Uh, what would be some of the advantages of maybe adopting a pet from the shelter or just uh, adopting one from a, a pet store? Well, uh, in terms of what we do here, uh, you end up saving a pet, uh, saving the life of a pet, whereas before, in, in the past, they would be euthanized. And we need good families and community members to come in and adopt a pet. First of all, it's going to be a lot cheaper. Uh, and more cost effective to get the pet here. Also, we now have a dog obedience training for many of our pets, and so they're trained, and, uh, and also you get coupons for spaying or neutering, uh, for vaccinations, and also here at the center, uh, we also have a program, it's a VPI program, it's an insurance, and for the first 30 days, the pets are covered with an insurance program. If they wish to elect to continue uh, the insurance after the 30 days, it's up to the, uh, to the pet owner. And it helps us making sure that we save lives of pets rather than going to a pet store uh, where many times uh, uh, the different coupons or different advantages that we have here are not available. And certainly it's humane to help save pets. And for pet owners, we ask them to come and check us out and we'll try to match them up with the pet. And one of the other things too that we also offer, but we don't want to happen, uh, not only cost effectiveness, but we try to match them up. But if you take the pet home, and you find that it's not something compatible with your family, you bring them back. And if you want to select another pet, they can do that too. We want to, we want to make sure that the pet and the family are compatible. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't work, you can bring them back. Many times in other pet stores, you can't do that. And pet stores don't have the different age groups. Sometimes an older pet is better. Uh, take, for instance, uh, if uh, someone says, well, I don't want a pet that's uh, so rambunctious. Well, we don't want to give them a puppy then. then we want a pet to give them by maybe five, six, seven years old and try to match them up. And uh, you're able to do that here at the adoption center. So you try to match up the right pet with the right person, basically. Or sometimes uh, they might say, well, you know, I really don't, I, I like uh, kind of a, a, 
a pet pet, but I need like a someone of a little. We can try to say, well, here, this pet is a good lovable pet, and also a good watchdog, and it's kind of an alarm dog. And, uh, and then we're able to match them up that way too. Okay. So many considerations are given. And uh, for someone maybe interested in adopting a pet, uh, what would be the uh, basically the number they would call or where would they need to go in order to do that? April? They would call um, us here at the Lake County Sheriff's Animal Adoption and Control Center. Our number here is area code 219-769-7016 or they can contact us at Area code 219, of course, 755-3920. And maybe they know of a, a pet that's stray or maybe it's a vicious pet. Who should they contact about that? Because there are cases where, you know, especially we're getting in the spring and the summer now, where there might be pets running around, around with children, you know, strays. What would they need to do about that? In the incorporated areas, they could still call those numbers like 769-7016. Uh, we uh, don't generally go into cities that already have their own their own uh, uh, dog wardens, but we do go in if there's a situation we have done in the past. We go in and we assisted me and the uh, officer, Jim Morgan, who was our field officer, have uh, done this for many years and we're quite experienced and we have been, uh, went in and assisted other towns and cities upon their request because of our experience. Uh, one thing I wanted to elaborate just a little bit on to make sure that the uh, people watching this understand that that we're, we're, we right now have a training program that uh, we're taking adult dogs and uh, with uh, some of the people from our county work release are training dogs, uh, obedience training them and uh, I don't believe we've had one graduate yet because they've become so uh, so well trained in a matter of, of uh, three or four weeks as people come along they see these dogs uh, and, and they, they adopt them out. Uh, our foster plan also, is like, like the sheriff said, is available so people are not certain if this dog's going to fit in their situation. They can come take the dog home for a week uh, under no obligation, no, no, uh, no, you know, no money is changed hands to see if that's actually what they want to do. <laughs> and the young lady, I wanted to have to give a little bit of an acknowledgement here. And Missy Labs, uh, who is the owner of Just for Dogs, uh, it's 793-9486, that's carry code 219-793-9486. Uh, she comes in and does and devotes her time to train these dogs to help us get home. Uh, she also has a dog of, uh, of a, uh, one of the uh, officers in the National Reserve, uh, Rick Shirley. Uh, he came here to us and he had to give up his dog because he's being shipped to Iraq. Uh, Mrs. Labs came and took that dog, trained that dog, and is holding that dog for uh, uh, Rick until he comes back from Iraq. And I think that uh, we have to make an acknowledgement of that because that, that's, that's really outstanding that she's went out of her way and that, that this man has a uh, uh, chance of losing his life fighting for our country. But if, when he comes back, his dog will be here and trained and waiting for him. Sounds worthy. She's actually done such a good job with Sarge the dog mm -hmm. that she uses Sarge now as her training dog to train any new dogs that come into her facility for, for obedience training. So she's done a good job with it. I venture to say when, uh, who's the owner? Is it uh, uh, Rick? Surely. Yeah, yeah. When Rick comes back from Iraq, I, I venture to say he's going to have to share Sarge <laughs> because I'm sure they're going to have such a bonding there that I'm sure she's, she's going right. to want to see Sarge and everything else. It's, it's just great. And, and, it, and this is what it's all about, good government serving the people. And, and putting pets with, with families and families with pets and it makes everybody happy. Is there anything, uh, Sheriff, that you might want to s say to the uh, viewer there, maybe some things that uh, have related to the animals? Yes. Uh, you know, one of the things that, that we do, we try to limit the amount of money that we get from the county council or the board of commissioners so that we can uh, not increase the cost to taxpayers. And so for those who would like to contribute to our to our center here, we'd ask them for a contribution, whether it's a, uh, whether it's in dog food or any other items. We can always use different items, but if they'd like to send monetary contributions, they can always send it to the Lake County Sheriff's Animal Adoption and Control Center at 3011 93rd Avenue, Crown Point 46307, and our phone number 769-7016. We can always use assistance, and many of the things that we've been able to do have been a result of donations from the community, and we thank them for all their help. 
thank them for coming out and adopting. And if you know someone who's looking for a pet, ask them to call 769-7016. Well, we'd like to thank you. Get as involved in your kids' education as in everything they do. And imagine the success they might find. Stay in touch with the teacher. Visit the school. For more tips, call 1-800-281-1313. over there. Why? Imagine the power of one voice. Find yours at freedomcenter.org. Loop 20, we're on it. Let's roll. In there. Yeah, we'll handle this, man. Hmm. What? We're ready to be very civil about this. Mm -mm. You never know when a polyp is going to show up. Get the polyp early and stop colon cancer before it even starts. Just get a test from your doctor. Get the test, get the polyp. Nice surgeon's touch. Get the cure. JR is a border collie, and he is, he's a young adult. He's about a year and a half old, and he's a good boy. He's been with us about a week, and um, he uh, is very shy, very mellow, really a sweet dog, really a sweet dog. And then we have, we have Nala, who Nala, you stay. Stay, baby. Because I know she's going to want to get away. But come here now. I got to Good girl. Good girl, Nala. Nala's a nine year old uh, lab. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, she is here, she along with her sister. And then we have Boris. Boris. Boris is a little rot mix. Boris won't come out of his kennel. He's okay. Boris will go in back. If, if he, he's a little bit shy to new people. See Boris, he's a good boy. And he's a little rot mix. He, Boris is about nine months old. And uh, he came with his sister, and his sister was adopted, and now Boris is with us. And then we've got Toby. Toby is a lab border collie mix, and I'm not going to open Toby's kennel because Toby will bolt on us. <laughs> and he's a good boy. Toby's a good boy. Toby's a young adult. He's probably about a year old. He's a sweet boy. Hold on also. He's a little, huh, 11 month old. I was looking for his age. Little 11 month old schnauzer. And he's a good boy. He's actually got a hold on him. And uh, if the uh, family does not show up to get him um, that has the hold on him, there's another family that wants him also. So uh, no matter what, he's going to. He's going to get a home today or tomorrow. 
um, because he's got a couple of families interested in him. Don't you, baby doll? Yes, you do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's adorable. These kittens are from two litters, but the one mother was, was well, both of them are a little bit on the wild side. Uh, so this one mother is taking care of like two, lit uh, two litters of kittens. And I don't know how many she has down here. They, we, they just came in yet, yet, yesterday. And they, as you can see, it, it even has the barn setting because that's what they were. They were barn kittens. And so they, uh, we just kind of left them like they were. We make sure, because she's got quite a job there taking care of all those kittens. Taking care of two litters of kittens. So those won't be able to even be adopted probably for about another six weeks. And then we also get, of course, the unusuals. And you know, usually you get a lot of these around Easter. Which actually, I believe most of these have been there for a few, a few weeks. Yeah. Um, we have a couple rabbits. Rabbits, we adopt them out for just five dollars. That's probably the only unusual animals we have right now. And we, of course, we have adult kids. We have them also. We don't have a lot of kids. Hey, baby doll. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. Hi, sweetie boy. Uh, Mrs. Abruzzo, I'm Ed McMahon, and we're Ed signing up You're people for... Yeah, yes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Miss <laughs> Murphy, Ed McMahon. Uh, we're starting up... No, 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 no. Dreams no. really do be come it, true. Open it, dinero! Dinero! No, no, no. no yes, Ed McMahon, see. Ed McMahon. Uh, yes, Ed McMahon. We're having our first Ed ever... Ed McMahon. Yes. <laughs> Tuesday night at the high school. <laughs> uh, we're starting up the uh, neighborhood watch in this area, and here's all <laughs> the information. Uh, Stevie! Get down here, please. No, he's just oh, it's it's just, it's Five, just... six, seven, eight. No tango <laughs> dinner. <laughs> neighborhood watch. We're having this neighborhood watch, the first one. Right. Larry, put some pants <laughs> on. I'll, I'll come back. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Start a neighborhood watch. It's just one of the many ways you can help make America stronger. To find out how, call or log on for this free guide. It's springtime in the forest of the black-tailed deer. The young male is feeling playful. It's time for tag. The female flicks her ears. Her way of saying, catch me if you can. Uh, I think you should wear a tie. And nobody wears ties to school. Ty says you're serious. It'll make a good impression. And remember, you're there to study, study to, to learn, learn, and to make something of myself. I got it. Almost half of all UNCF students are the first in their family to go to college. They have some great architecture classes. Dad, I'm not really interested in architecture. Well, keep your options open. And remember, no girls until, until you my work is done. And I'd Dad. make sure that I got my last. Going. I am. I know. Well, listen, we better get going. Don't yeah. want to be late the first day in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And when you're the first to go, you're going for a lot of people. The United Negro College Fund. A mind is a terrible thing to waste. We at Calumet Region Reports would like to pass along to you some responsible pet owner's tips from the Lake County Animal Shelter. Number one, always keep out fresh water. Number two, always feed them nutritious food. Number three, give them proper health care. Number four, make sure they have a proper ID. Number five, give them plenty of exercise. Bathing room them regularly. Number se uh, seven, give them plenty of playtime attention. Number eight, make sure you properly train your pet. And number nine, give them lots of love, a very important part. And number ten, finally, treat them as that they are your family members.
And finally, if you'd like more information on the Sheriff's Animal Adoption Center, you may contact them at 3011 West 93rd Avenue in Crown Point, Indiana, 46307, or call area code 219-769-7016. We would like to thank Sheriff Roy Dominguez for being with us on this week's program and explaining to us more about the Sheriff's Animal Adoption Center. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week here on Calumet Region Reports.